Now I'm going to explain verb to want, بالعربية. We're going to start with the present tense. المضارع. <clears throat> you see here in your book that there are several versions of verb to want. This is because in almost every different country or region in the Arabic world, a different version of verb to want is used. This is the, the verb that is so different between countries and regions. <clears throat> Let's start first with the modern standard Arabic version. The modern standard Arabic version or fusha, we use the verb arada and it happens to be an irregular verb. It's one of the a bit more difficult verbs to learn in Arabic. <clears throat> so what I would like you to do is just um, be able to translate when you see this verb to translate it to English or to Dutch. Okay, you don't need to learn it by heart. If you learn it by heart, it's good, but um, it's not totally needed, but you do need to recognize it. Verb arada in the present tense, بالمضارع, what happens when you conjugate, look at the red letters I have here. The alif, you see, it's made of hamza, ra, alif, dal. When you, when you conjugate in the first person, ana, it is uridu. What happened to the alif is the alif changes to ya. See, the, the letter right before the dal be becomes a ya. Mm -hmm. What you don't see here as well, because that's difficult to do in word, is that on this hamza here, there is a dhamma. So an u. Uh. So how do you pronounce this? Ana uridu. I want. Enta turidu. Now for the rest of the conjugation, this your root becomes read. This is your root and you will see it in every single one of the conjugations. This read, because this is your root. And the rest, what's, what's before read, the prefix, this is the conjugation of all verbs in the present tense. Not just this one, all of them. <clears throat> in Fusha, modern standard there. Okay, so look what changed from Ana Uridu, Ana has U as a prefix, and Ta has Tu, Turidu. Uh, Nela? Are you sharing your whiteboard? Because I'm not seeing it. You're not seeing my screen? No. no. Not no. Sure. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought we had to read in the book. With yeah, you. you can also read in It's the same. It's exactly. I'm showing you your book. Okay. You don't have to. But I'm showing here that uh, I'm telling you that the root of the verb, which is arada, but oh, the real root is rada, this one, the ra alif dal. And when you conjugate, the, the alif becomes ya. And you will see read in every single conjugation here. Read, read, read. Plus you have a prefix, which I put in red, and these prefixes are standards for all verbs in the present tense bil fusha. So here to enta starts with tu or ta, that's standard for all verbs, okay? So enta tu ridu. Enti, tu read comes back, tu read, plus you have in at the end. So, anti to read na. 
try to recognize the root in every one of these uh, conjugations. So you see read here, and you see read here, read, read. This is the root. When you conjugate a verb, the root never changes, especially the, the order of the letters of the root. Here we have the order is ra alif dal. Because it's an irregular verb, the alif changes to ya. However, the order ra ya dal never changes in the in all the conjugation. Mashi? Any questions still here? Okay, so. And this one. Well. Oh, no. For the, um, the endings, uh, for example, you feminine want to read, mm. to read the na. Mm. No. The na is also standard conjugation for other verbs. The ina, what's in the red here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It as is. well as the una at the bottom for the plural. Yeah. As well as yeah. the una, everything in red, but not the ya. I put the ya in red because I wanted you to emphasize that the elif becomes ya. Mm -hmm. However, the rest, like this, to, to, you, this is standard, and ina. Una, una, these are also standard. For mm -hmm. verbs in the present tense, bil mudaria, bil fusha. Hmm? In modern okay. standard. Shukran. Shukran. Okay, so we're at enti. Enti turidina. Okay, repeat. Enti turidina. Turidina. You can also say to redeem. The fatha at the end, you don't have to pronounce it. Okay? You can and you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if you have a sentence, do you then, because now I'm a bit confused, but do you use the uh, pronoun within the sentence or do you just use the verb with the uh, conjugated ending? Mm, it depends. Look, so for some of them, you don't need a pronoun. For some, you do. Because look at the conjugation of enta to ridu. Mm -hmm. And look at hia to ridu. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah. Exactly. So in this case, there might be confusion. So you can better use a pronoun. Okay. Okay. And I always advise my students to use the pronoun. Why? Because even if it's obvious, use it. Because in case you make a mistake in the conjugation of the verb, at least you got your pronoun. At least the other person know, knows who you are talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> OK, uh, so now we're at hua. Hua, you read. You read. You read. Yeah, let me repeat. Who are? You read. You read. Here to read. Here to read. To read. Nahnu nuridu. Nahnu nuridu. Antum to readuna. Home, you read. Home, you read. Bravo. So, look, I want you to note one thing about the prefix, what comes at the beginning of the conjugation. It's, it's always the prefix has to do with your pronoun. So like Anna, the verb always starts with A in Fusha, with the Elif Hamza. With the second person, which is Anta, Anti, 
and entum, these are considered second person pronouns. Enta, enti, entum. The verb always starts with the letter ta. You see? Enta, turidu, turidin, turidun. Note that, that's very important. Enta, enti, entum always starts with the letter ta. Huwa and hum always start with ya, the letter ya. Huwa yurid, hum yuridun. Then how do you make the difference between huwa and hum, singular and plural? is by adding the suffix at the end of home. Yuriduna, because look, without the suffix, suffix, it's exactly the same as hua. Yuriduna. Hum yuriduna. With entum, same thing. It starts with ta and you make it plural by adding in. How do you do the negation of verb arada? It's with la. Okay. So let's read that whole um, column, but with in the negation. So I don't want, you don't want, okay? Yeah. I say the pronoun, you guys say don't want. Anna? La redu. All of you, okay? Enta? La turidu. Enti? La turidina. Hua? La turidu. Hia? La turidu. Turidu. Nahnu? La, la, la nuridu. 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 Entum? La, la nuridu. Nuridu. Nuriduna. Hum? La, la, la nuridu. Nuriduna. Very good. What I don't have here, and I thought I was hesitating whether to do it or not, then I decided let's not, okay? In order not to discourage them. What we're missing in MSA is the dual form and the plural feminine, okay? Uh, I didn't put them for now. Later, maybe when we you become at a higher level, we will do these more. For now, this is enough. This is too much information. You have MSA, we're gonna do the different dialects. It's too much. Okay. But be aware that there are still some more. There's huma, yuridani, the dual, and the plural feminine. Um, in Levantine Arabic, we don't use an actual verb for to want. We use, we use this bed, which is I think it's like a preposition, like and. And it means something, it's not used by itself as a preposition, and is used, but bed is not used on its own. However, look how it's conjugated. Look, not like a verb. See, this is a real verb. Like the possessive form. Yeah, like the possessive form, and like and. Andi, andak, andik. Yeah. Okay. So it's very easy. You use bed and you do the possessive form. So Anna, I want is Anna. Badi. Inta. Badak. Okay. Like I don't want like um, Western people have the tendency to say badak, badak, a bit <laughs> the English way. It is inta badak. 
بدك 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 it's a double dal you see there's a shadda on the dal so you you should stress on the dal بدك 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 انت بدك بدك هو بدو بدو هي بدا بدا نحن بدنا بدنا انتو بدكم بدكم هن بدكم اوكي سو ذيس وان هذا مش صعب صح So this is what you're going to use in my classes. Sorry, not this, the, this, the Levantine, that one. Okay, so this is used in Lebanon, Syria, Palestine, and Urdun. <coughs> How do you do the negation? It's with ma. So I don't want, like and, ma andi, ma bedi. انت يلا لازم يو جايز دو ذا نيجيشن انت ما بدك انت ما بدك هو ما بدك هي ما بدك ما بدك نحن ما بدنا انتو ما بدكم Henne. Okay, now I wanted to also give you the Egyptian and Gulf. I don't usually do this in this class. However, this is such a basic verb to want. Let's say you're going to go buy a shawarma sandwich and the, the guy is Egyptian. And he asks you, do you want onions in your sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> so that you recognize what he's saying, okay? <laughs> the Egyptian one is also very easy. <clears throat> There are only three forms. Masculine, feminine, plural. That's it. And it's not a verb. It's a participle. Like, sekin, sekna, seknin. Hmm? That's a participle. You only have three forms. So, They use Aza and it becomes the, the masculine one is Ayiz. Hmm? And some Egyptian pronounce it with wow, Awiz. Ayiz or Awiz. If you hear this, you should translate it to, to want. With this one, you really have to use a pronoun, otherwise, you don't know. Okay, so a, a woman says, Anna Aiza, a man, Anna Aiz. Okay, yeah, so I will give the pronoun, you give me the Egyptian variation. Inta Aiz. 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 Inti Aiz. Aiz. Yeah, Aiza. Aiza. Who? Aiza. Aiza. Here. Okay, look how in Egyptian they say, not Nahna, also in Palestine and Jordan, by the way, they say, Ahna. Not Nahna. Ahna. Aizi. Aizin, yeah, like Seknin, Aizin. Again, Ehna, Aizin, Aizin, Into, Aizin, Aizin, Oh, Aizin, Aizin, Hum, Aizin, Aizin. So this one, I want you to recognize it if you hear it. 
And uh, how do you do the negation? It's with mish, mish. Or Egyptians even sometimes say mush. Mush is mush is. Mush or mish is the same. Okay, so I want all the women in the group to say, I don't want in the Egyptian way. Ana mish aiza. Now all the men. Mish aiza. Ana mish aiza. Okay, now then uh, all of you say, do you guys want? I miss I We want. She doesn't want. Okay. That was the Egyptian. And in the Gulf, uh, actually not in Iraq, excluding Iraq. I think this is more Kuwait, Saudi, Yemen. Okay, they use uh, this verb, baga. However, how they pronounce it is not exactly, somehow the rain, they are not, they don't pronounce it. So they pronounce it like I put it here between brackets. Okay, so I will tell you how it sounds like. So Anna Abi means I want. Enta Tabi. Okay, as of now, repeat. Enti Tabin. Enti Tabin. Hua. Yabi. 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 Yabun. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this one is, of course, it's optional. Okay, you don't have to learn it unless you have a friend uh, from Kuwait or Bahrain or whatever, then you would understand if you said. Still, with when you speak with any person from Egypt, from the Gulf, you can still use your own version. If you if you are used to using the Levantine, you use the Levantine, they will understand you, okay? You don't have to adjust your dialect. But if they tell you tabi, know that they're saying, do you want, okay? Mm -hmm. And also the negation of this one is with ma. So here you got an overview of the different uh, versions of to want. Then I have in the past tense, Madi, I'm only teaching you for now the Levantine and the Egyptian. Okay, that's enough. The Levantine is the easiest because you like and you just use can right before what we call as to want, okay? So mm. I wanted is can biddi. Ah, Manal? I don't think I have that in the Dutch book. No, me neither. That's correct. Ah, sorry, yeah, look here, look look on my, in the Dutch book, no, not, it's, you have the previous version. Uh, yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it, okay? You can, uh, you'll have it on the video and it's not complicated. So the Levantine, you just use can. Can be di, can be da, can be di, can be do, can be da, can be na, can, okay? 
second. That's it. And with the Egyptian, you use they use can, however, it's conjugated. Mm. Mm. So, Ana kunt aiza. Inta kunt aiz. Inti kunti aiza. Huwa kan aiz. Iya kanit aiza. Kun aizin. Kuntu aizin. Can wise Okay, you don't have to use this when you speak. I think if you just recognize can, sorry, you recognize the eyes already, which we did here, and there is something before it can, couldn't, it means past tense. Okay, that's all you, you have to know. Uh, Naila, hmm. in the book it says to need between brackets for the Egyptian and Levantine. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, yeah, no, in Egyptian, this means what I have here, it means that in Egyptian it is to want, and in Levantine it is used for to need. Okay. True, I forgot about that. So if I want to say in Levantine, I needed milk, why didn't you get some? Then I would, I can say kentaize. But I can say kambidi. In the end, to want and to need are very close to each other, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What you, what you, yeah, usually, yeah. <laughs> you want something because you need it. I don't know about that. No? Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to argue about this. I want many things. I don't know if I need them. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Okay. But like some things, like if, if you want to, like, let's say I went to the supermarket and I didn't get you milk, then you, whether you say kambidi or kintaize, it doesn't matter because in the end, if you need milk or you want milk, it's the same. But with luxury things, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> Is it more logical for uh, to, to need to, to use uh, bidi or highs, or can you also uh, conjugate lesem? No, lesem is, uh, it's necessary. Okay. I have to have, okay? Like if I tell you lesem tedersu, is you have to study. Okay. Hmm? So with to need, you can use with can bidi or can taizi. More questions? No. No? Michelle. Okay, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Okay, then here I have some sample sentences in MSA. I'm not gonna do them all now because there is an MP3. You can listen and read them at home. Uh, however, I wanna tell you the, the structure of the sentence with two want in MSA, Belfusha, what does it look like? So in MSA, Belfusha, first there is to want, then the subject, and then the direct object. So verb, subject, direct object. This form, subject, verb, direct, is also possible, although less common. And a personal pronoun is not required, but can also be specified to avoid confusion. Yani in personal for now. Let's take one example, like I don't want sweet. And I la no, let's let's take this one. My mother wants a book for her birthday. Okay. 
you see that in English you start with my mother and then once. Bil fusha, they would start with the verb to redo, followed by ummi. To redo ummi kitaban laid miladha. Here with this one, this girl, this girl wants water. I started with this girl just to show you that it can also be done like this. Let's look at this one. The teacher wants a cup of coffee. To redo el mudarisa finjana kahwa. Look at this one, the last one. This one is a bit strange, but and this applies only to Fusha MSA. The teachers want a new blackboard. <clears throat> Look how it is done in Fusha. To redo al mudarisat sabura jadida. Okay, so. To redo is conjugated like here, not like plural, like singular. And here I have a note, this star tells you that if a plural subject follows the verb, the verb remains in the singular. Yeah, so, which means that if the verb comes before the subject, even if the subject is plural, the verb stays singular. So I say it in Dutch also, or it's okay in English. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But it means you use it, uh, normally you use it like this, right? So. No, no in Fusha, eh? not when you speak. This has nothing to do with spoken Arabic. Yeah, yeah, in Fusha. Yeah. This is just, you might read it in text. So this, when the verb comes before the subject, it stays singular. Mm -hmm. However, you do make it feminine masculine. Like here, the teachers, which are women, because mudarriset, at is the plural uh, feminine. We use the conjugation of here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say your sentence was, the students want a new book. Then, which the students is at Tulab, right? The Tulab is a plural. Let's say the sentence starts with want. Which conjugation would you use of to want? Uriduna. La. It's yeah, it stays Uridu. singular. Uridu. It starts with what? With the verb. Uridu. 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 Read. No, Leonie said it right. Mm -hmm. You read. Okay. Because to love is a plural uh, masculine, you would use the hua form. Not you would use. You never have to do such sentences. Okay. But it is used. Hua, you read. So it, the sentence would be you read. Atulab Kitab Jadid. But if you have the same sentence, but then uh, subject, verb, direct object, then you would continue to use the conjugation. Yeah. So let's make it now with that the students want a new book, but let's turn it around. We say Atulab. Yeah, you, you use home. 
الطلاب يريدون كتابا جديدا and this is this way is used in spoken Arabic colloquial subject verb direct object okay. here there is no and nothing particular in spoken Arabic it's like English and Dutch So like here, I don't want sweets. Ma biddi halu. I could have said, ana ma biddi halu. My mother wants a book for her birthday. Look, ummi. Oh, shit. There's a mistake. <laughs> the ma, you should, if you have the new book, remove ma. Let me see in the... Uh, in the old book also. It's not in a new book. Huh? It's not in a new book. No, old book is the always old one, I think. In Dutch and Arabic, it's always ma and geen. And mm. is the vertaling good in the Netherlands? Yeah, we'll geen book for Ah, Africa. okay, then is it good. I don't know what, what version do I have. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's ignore it. Like there's no... Uh, mm. Or no, like here, my mother doesn't want a book for her birthday. Okay. أمي ما بدها كتاب لعيد ميلاد. And let's look at the plural one, the last one. The teachers want a new blackboard. المعلمات المعلمات بدن. So I use the plural of بد. Ah, yeah, and it could be with ها. بدون okay. المعلمات بدون سبورة جديدة nothing nothing special here just regular conjugation mm. any more questions for the last one why didn't you put a, a ha so بدون <laughs> I was waiting for this question <laughs> It's a typo. <laughs> I was praying no one will notice. <laughs> you got me, Luis. <laughs> Look, you know why? Because actually, Levantine, this is spoken Arabic. There, there are no spelling rules. You write what you hear. So that's why sometimes I write it without her because that's how I say it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay.